Let's stream to Twitch from Volta with audience interactions. I go up to the stream panel. I can't start streaming yet because I haven't told it where I want to stream. So I set my output preset to Twitch. I hit connect. And so we can connect directly to Twitch from Volta. It says waiting for browser sign in. And we can see that happening over here. So I'm going to log in. There it is logging in. And now that it knows that I'm me, Twitch will double check that I want uh, Volta to be able to stream on my behalf. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to hit authorize. There we go. And so now back into Volta, we can see we're signed in with Twitch as me, Toby Spark. And I could disconnect if I wanted to. So now let's start streaming. And let's see it working. So I'm going to go to my channel page. So we s the stream has, we can see the time ticking up. So the stream has started leaving my computer. It's gone through the internet to Twitch. And now it's coming back into my web browser here. And we can watch it now. And so there we are. We've connected to Twitch and we've started streaming. But I said with audience interactions. So what does that mean? Well, if we go back to that settings page for stream and record, it says we can install the Volta Twitch extension to allow viewers to control elements in the play panel. Let's do that. I've hit install. It's this window here. Here it comes. So here's the Volta Twitch extension. There's a big install button over here. And having installed it, we need to activate it and I'm going to set this as my overlay. Again, we need to authorize. And now it is done. So I'm going to shut down that window and let's start streaming again. Come on, Twitch. Well, I'm going to refresh the page. So let's watch my stream. And now we can see the Volta extension is active. And we have this, this overlay over our stream. Now, there's a separate tutorial to follow that will go into this in more detail. But here's the idea. In your Volta world, in the play panel, there are controls for you. You can maybe assign them to your MIDI device, but you can also assign them to the audience. And when we link them to the audience here, they appear for our audience on top of the stream. And so now we are streaming to Twitch and our audience on Twitch, every one of them with this extension can control the things that you give them in your Volta world. And that's it.